प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर ए डिक्टेशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर ट्वेंटी टू फ्रॉम प्रोग्रेसिव मैगजीन ऑफ फेब्री टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट इट इज अ प्लेजर फॉर मी टू बी हेयर फॉर द सेवेंथ कॉन्वोकेशन ऑफ द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी हैदराबाद दिस ओकेजन इज ए डबल सेलिब्रेशन एज इट कॉइंसाइड्स विद द टेंथ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ द ओपनिंग ऑफ द इंस्टीट्यूट लेट मी बिगिन बाय कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटिंग द आई आई टी हैदराबाद कॉम्युनिटी फॉर दीज लैंडमार्क्स फॉर द ग्रेजुएटिंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इज ए स्पेशल मोमेंट इट इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ इयर्स ऑफ हार्ड वर्क एंड डेडिकेशन ऑन यूर पार्ट एंड ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ यूर टीचर्स एंड प्रोफेसर्स एज वेल एज यूर फैमिलीज द एनर्जी and enthusiasm of youth combined with a solid foundation is a very effective combination it can take an individual very far as fresh iit graduates you are entering a world and an india packed with opportunities there is so much you can do and so much you can achieve for yourselves for your families for society at large particularly for those less fortunate than you please dream big and aim high and please take risks the time to do it is now like individuals institutions are very dependent on decisions taken in their formative years iit hyderabad is young it is only 10 years old it too is defined by energy and enthusiasm and has built a solid foundation today you have 2500 students one in five of them being a young women the institute has a strong post graduate program with 30% of students pursuing a phd these are commendable figures but the question is what next the road you take today will determine your future not just for the next few years but perhaps for the rest of the century that may sound like an overstatement but do consider some of the world's major universities or even the older iits your peer institutes their achievements over several decades have been shaped by the trajectory they took in their earliest days as a second generation iit it is important that you borrow from as well as learn from the models of the past conditions are different from the 1950s and 1960s india has changed technology and the very discipline of engineering have evolved our aspirations are no longer limited to the heavy industrial base that we created 6 decades ago rather iit hyderabad has to remain relevant to the fourth industrial revolution that will write the script of the 21st century the new centers include the center for cyber 
physical systems and internet of things and the fabless chip design incubator and other initiatives that fall under the umbrella of the TIC foundation collaborative research is being carried out in areas of widespread utility such as 5g technology affordable housing and information networks for natural disaster mitigation and recovery mous with leading international universities and r&d agreements with japanese industrial corporations are also worthy of appreciation ladies and gentlemen members of the faculty and dear students the best scientific universities and institutions of learning are not just teaching shops or degree factories increasingly they are sources of innovation and incubators of technology and technology driven startups the knowledge ecosystem of public investments in science academic institutions and universities research laboratories commercial applications and private enterprise has an almost magical potential its best example is of course silicon valley in the united states at the core of silicon valley are basic science and technology campuses and their talented faculty and students this iit has been set up in a city and in a metropolitan area where several elements for such an ecosystem already exist iit hyderabad in a sense is the element that completes the picture hyderabad has a long tradition of scientific discovery and application in the 19th century ronald ross who won the nobel prize for medicine for identifying the mosquito that transmitted malaria did pioneering work here after independence hyderabad became a location of industrial manufacture it saw vigorous and far sighted investments by the public sector and then the private sector gradually the city's reputation grew as a research center before coming here i called for details from the csir the department of science and technology the department of biotechnology the department of atomic energy the drdo and the isro between these institutions i am told there are as many as 19 research facilities and laboratories in hyderabad i have not even mentioned the private sector hyderabad based companies are engaged in cutting edge research and manufacture of bio pharmaceuticals and vaccines and separately in the field of information technology the true measure of iit hyderabad cannot be restricted to grade point averages campus placements and number of published papers 
no doubt all of those are important but please don't limit your ambitions please break out of silos and please encourage others to break out of silos india will judge your success by the vitality and the output you can ensure for not just yourself but for the entire hyderabad knowledge ecosystem stop